Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you don't mind, please consider subscribing to this channel, and when you do, hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Let's get into this very quick video here. Um, so we got to what a lot of people would may think winnable games coming up against the Tennessee Titans on Sunday and then a, a quick turnaround Thursday night game against the Chicago Bears. Uh, two, two games that could be very winnable games for the Washington Commanders. And I think when you look at this right now, this is definitely a hinge type thing, right, for the season. Um, if Washington is able to win these next two games, they're three and three, and then suddenly everybody is not so worried about the team, right? If the team splits, they're two and four, and you're like, yeah, I don't know. I think this team is still in trouble. And certainly if, if Washington drops both of those games, then by all means, this team has sunk, right? And then there will definitely be changes that will be made. I think Ron Rivera alluded to there could be some changes being made if some players didn't step up and start performing. Some people felt that that was directed at Carson Wentz. Could be. Um, but I, I think that overall, if you're at 1-5, and five and you, may, you will make a change at quarterback. You have to at that point. But honestly, you're not going to put Sam Howell in. There's no reason to put Sam Howell in in his first year and then, you know, throw him out the the wolves, so to speak. Uh, Taylor Heineke might throw him in there uh, just to kind of, you know, shake things up a bit. Taylor, obviously, he doesn't hold on to the ball nearly as much as what Carson Wentz does. He's a little bit more mobile, although Carson can be mobile as well. Uh, but Taylor is going to take off and run when he gets a chance. So he's going to make some plays. Now, he doesn't have the arm. And that could be something that hurts Washington as well. But at that point, if you're one to five, again, I don't think it's really going to matter. But I think right now, you know, we're looking at two winnable games for the Washington Commanders. If they're able to beat Tennessee, we're two and three, and then we're heading into a Chicago game that, again, if Washington is somehow able to beat the Bears, you're back to 500. You can breathe a little bit easier, and hopefully by that point, you're getting some injured players back. Um, there is still talk that Brian Robinson could play against the Titans. I, I don't think he will, uh, but I think you may see him against the Chicago Bears possibly. Uh, but um, definitely, they'll get you closer to a realistic chance of seeing Chase Young coming back. Although I don't really think you'll see him until at least November. But that gets you closer and when your team is at least 500, then that gives you the reason to want to push to get these players back in because ultimately uh, these are game changers, right? These are players who can change the game. So if that's the case, then you want to be able to keep the season alive as much as possible in order to get these guys back. And by then, Jahan Dotson should be healthy again and, and, and back there. And so... Let's just see what happens, folks. These next two games, I think, are winnable. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, like, share this video, uh, give me a comments, um, and again, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with other video releases. And um, as well, you can support this channel in other ways. You can actually donate directly to me uh, through Cash App or uh, through Venmo. I'll put that up on, on the screen as well as Patreon. I have a Patreon page that I'm revamping. Um, and memberships are only $3 a month, folks. So it's not a whole lot to support this channel if you really support me and you want to see this channel grow and improve. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.